Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you something a little unusual. But sometimes you end up in a situation where you need to haul something and all you have is some rope um, and you need to kind of make some kind of a attachment where you can carry it on your back like a shoulder. So I'm going to show you how you can actually make a quick messenger bag like solution with about 20 feet of rope um, that even has an adjustable strap. And I'll show you how that works. So this technique works with any kind of thing that's some kind of you know, rectangular solid. So I'm going to use a laptop as an example. So it does take a good amount of rope, about 20 feet is perfect. Um, you want to have something a little bit thick so it doesn't dig into your shoulders too much, but this kind of thing is perfect. So um, I'll show you how this works. This is actually, I think, um, 3 8 inch or a quarter inch uh, poly rope, but, but you could use nylon clothesline or anything like that. Um, as long as it's not too slippery, a little bit slippery is okay. Um, so we're going to start by folding the rope in half like this, I've already done that. And at the very end I'm going to tie the whole end into a loop, just leaving about an inch or so sticking out like that to get a nice solid loop. Okay, so I'm going to have that loop's going to come up and face me and it's going to be the side where we're going to pull the strap through so you can adjust it. So I'm going to put that right here on this right side of the laptop. Now what I'm going to do is kind of do this like um, a, kind of like I'm tying up a package. So I'm going to bring the bottom end around and I'm going to like make a, make a cross here and I'm going to bring this around. And you know, there's the order doesn't matter that much. I just like to have it look nice, so I'm going to make it symmetric. So I'm going to have this side go up like that too. So now I've got this H pattern over it, so it's kind of held on this side and held in this direction. Now in order to make this tight, what I want to do is kind of have this, um, you know, pull down on this guy. Um, so the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to actually make another loop here and I'm going to pull this through so I can draw it tight. And so I make that other loop by again taking the single rope and creating a little loop out of it. So I'm going to make that a little bit higher up here, make a single loop here. I'm going to tie it through like that. Okay, and now I take the remaining end and I put that through the hole in that single loop. And now what I can do with this is I can pull this as tight as I want so I can really get some tension on this guy. Okay, makes it nice and tight. It's just going through this loop. Okay, now I'm going to pull that side over to this way. See, I've still got my H, though this side is double now. And I'm going to just like tie these two together on the top just for, again, this is more one for decoration. You don't need to do that, but I just kind of like to have those ends stay together. So now I've got the laptop kind of securely held by the rope like this. I've got the solid H holding this thing together, and I've got this loop on this side. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this end around my body like I would with a messenger bag. Okay, so I'm going to put this end around my body like a the messenger bag. Hope you can still see this. And then I'm going to take these ends and feed them through that loop we made at the very beginning. So I'm going to take this guy and this guy. And now I've got an adjustable strap just like you'd find on any decent quality messenger bag. So I'll get it up to a height that I like. So I, I like where this sits in my back like this. This is a good height. And I'm going to affix this by twisting the whole loop around and I'm going to just pull a loop through like that. Now this knot up here is obviously really important but the thing is, the thing that's great about it is that if I make a loop knot like this, the tension from the strap is always trying to pull this tighter. So this is going to stay on pretty tight. So once again, here it is on my back. I've got a strap across the front, just like I did with the messenger bag. The only thing that could pull it off is if I pull this guy to release this knot. So you might want to, might want to tie that more securely if you want to do that. So finally, I'm going to show you how to take it apart. It's really easy. I just pull on this guy. That releases this. I pull this out of that hole. And I've got my laptop still in that H pattern. And to take that off, I just take off this kind of knot that I made for looks. And then I go over here, pull this off, 
take this apart. And there we go. So it's not even any complicated unknotting and I can easily take off these knots because they were never very tightly into the rope. It was just that they were mounting points for other things that held tension. Okay, just for fun, I'm going to do this again with something a little bit larger and more unwieldy. So here I've got like a big trumpet case and um, let's see if we can run the same trick. Once again, I start with the loop at the very end. I'm going to put that up on one end where I expect to hold it. I'm going to make that H pattern. Start it over here. And again, just for symmetry's sake, I like to have it look nice, so I'm going to have that be symmetric like this. I'm going to flip it over on this side. I'm going to make that single loop. Tie that guy through here. And now I'm going to take the free end of this one. Pull that through this guy. Have that be nice and tight now. Go back across here and once again, just for looks, I like having this guy tied off so it kind of stays in place there. Now I've got my H pattern on the whole case and I'm going to put this on, still sit down because this guy's a lot heavier than the laptop was, and I can pull this through like that, and now, here we go, I've got the trumpet case now tied in the same way, and I'm going to again pull that single loop, that double loop through to secure it. There we go. Got the trumpet on my back. This is a pretty big case now. Still got the straps going across. Now if it's just going to dig in a little bit more, I mean it is double here, but still like a uh, trumpet's pretty heavy, so that could get heavy after a while. But it is a way to get that rather large and heavy object onto my back. So there you go. Now you know a way to take pretty much uh, any kind of rectangular package and to make a little uh, messenger bag strap thing that you can carry it around with on your back, with an adjustable length strap even, um, with only about 20 feet of a decently thick rope. Um, so please be careful when you use this on your own. Obviously if you have something valuable, you want to make sure it's tied very securely and make sure you do all your knots very carefully. You can't guarantee this is going to work for all kinds of stuff. If you do a good job with your knots, you do a good job kind of tying it all together. Um, this should be a pretty handy way to uh, carry things on your back. So um, I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, I'll see you again soon.